Hey, it's Jones Laughlin. Welcome to Insights from the Jones Zone, where I give you a way to master your week in three minutes or less. While too many activities in our day, too many meetings, and too little time can certainly cause that overload in our workday, I find from many of my coaching clients and even hearing from those in training presentations, the overload they're experiencing sometimes is caused by dealing with that difficult coworker. And that mental and emotional overload pours into our ability to get our work done. If that sounds like you and you're thinking of someone that you don't have the best relationship with right now in your workplace, here are my suggestions on how to deal with coworker dysfunction. Uh, and I call it the four R's. The first R is to remove yourself from the situation. If you find things are getting emotional and you don't know what to say and don't know how to respond, you feel like you're gonna react, then step away. Uh, if you're trying to figure out what your next steps might be, then get out of the office or your work area. There's too many negative triggers there. Go outside, find a place where you can be a little more neutral and positive to think about what you might do next to improve the situation. The second thing is to review the situation, review what's going on with the right person. And when I say the right person, I don't mean someone uh, who will agree with you on everything you say, you know, say, oh yeah, I know they're a jerk to everybody. I don't mean someone like that. I'm talking about someone who, uh, as I mentioned in last week's Jones Zone, someone's a loving critic who has your best interest at heart and also sees the bigger picture. The third thing to do is to reflect to reflect on how you might contribute to the dysfunction. Is there a way you communicate or don't communicate or think you've gotten your point across sometimes when you haven't? And maybe you need to, to be a little different around this person to help communicate more effectively. How are you contributing to the dysfunction of the relationship with this coworker? Finally, the fourth R and the one that trumps all of these is to respond with intent instead of reacting with emotion. Respond with intent instead of reacting with emotion. As you plan your response to this person, try to take the emotion out of it and have the intent that you want the relationship between you and that coworker to improve. This is Jones Loff, and I hope it's a fantastic week for you so you can work cohesively with all of your team members. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today in the Jones Zone.